Now know the name of the father killed in yesterday's deadly crash on I-440. In our Matthew Torres live at Vanderbilt Children's Hospital, that's where six children were sent to recover. Matthew, how serious are these injuries? Well, we know that five of the six children, they sustained non-life threatening injuries. All six, again, were sent here to Vanderbilt Children's Hospital. I got off the phone not too long ago with the hospital and they told me that three of the kids have already been released, leaving three kids, including an 11 year old girl who is stable but had critical injuries here at the hospital. Now that 11 year old girl is the niece of 49 year old Hussein Al Sarhan, who we now know is the driver killed in yesterday's head on collision on I-440 West near I-65. And as you can see from Sky 5, this caused some major traffic delays. Now inside Al Sarhan's van were his three young daughters, another niece and a nephew. Metro police say the driver of a niece, uh, Nissan SUV was traveling west on I-440 when he swerved to avoid crashing into a vehicle driving over to his lane. The driver lost control, drove across the median and collided into Al Sarahan's van. That driver was sent to Skyline with non-life threatening injuries, but definitely um, just tragic news knowing that a father uh, has died and leaving three young daughters behind. The investigation into this accident continues. Reporting live outside Vanderbilt Children's Hospital, I'm Matthew Torres, News Channel 5 HD.